Today on the channel from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon NECA line, we've got Chakahachi and Lotus. The spirit of the warrior will run forever! Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Zaneka cartoon unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we've got that sweet lotus flower and Chakahachi. But for all your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle needs that are not Target exclusives, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% on all in-stock items. Anything over $59 does ship free. Gotta get a deal out there, as we know. But we continue on with these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Holothon 2-packs and the cuts. Keep getting deeper and deeper, I guess, depends who you ask. Like I talked about with Mona Lisa, to some, she's a deep-cut character. To others, uh, she's a peripheral character that we all know and love. So, just kind of depends where you are in your turtle fandom. And Chakahachi, I believe, was like a big ghost or something. Wasn't he a ghost? Most in the Turtles cartoon. It's been a long time since I've seen those episodes. One of these days I will revisit the entire series, but a lot of those episodes I haven't seen probably since 1987, 1988. So my memory, not quite what it used to be. And then uh, we got Lotus here, and I remember her being a part of the Foot Clan, kind of a tweener. She was bad. She turned good. She liked the Turtles. She didn't like the Turtles. I think ended up liking them after all, because hey, guess what? They're just uh, total rad four guys out there that love to eat pizza. How could What's there not to like? What's there not to like? So very interesting times with these packs, but a little skinnier pack than we've uh, been accustomed to over the last few unboxings here. But of course, we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's see what's going on with old Chakahachi and Lotus. There they are, all kinds of accessories going on. Nice little uh, artwork there from the cartoon, of course. You got the classic logo, Nickelodeon logo. You got the green, you got the yellow, you got the Oakland A's colors. We're here for that. You guys know that. There's old Chakahachi looking really good. Got some effect pieces with him, apparently. And on this side, there's old Lotus herself. And on the back, we got a cross cell down below. We got some glamour shots and we got the generic blurb. Let's see what it says back here, if anything. Chakahachi and Lotus. Yeah, nothing going on there. Uh, very interesting here. It does promote Dirk Savage Mona Lisa. Check out that review on the channel. Crook Ninja Turtle Gang and Rock Shol Soldier. Easy for me to say. Check that review out on the channel. And Usagi Yojimbo. Check out that review on the channel. So playing a lot of the hits here today at the table. Pull this one out here. There it is. Familiar background. We seem to just have a couple of different backgrounds. But looking nice enough. And off to the races. See you later off to the side. And we get the big plastic prison here. All kinds of ninja weapons going on there. Looking really, really nice. All kinds of twist ties as we we're accustomed to as well. So let me take this offline. Let me get these two out of the pack. And we'll be back talking all things Lotus and Chakahachi. All right, we got old Chakahachi and Lotus out of the package. And let's start off with Lotus and let's start off with the accessories as we usually do. Of course, we got extra hands. Always got to have hands and let the hands have it here. But we got uh, a gripping hand for a little sword action. Or no, no, no. Take that back. Walk that back. This is for that flower. This will hold the flower. We got a gripping hand. We got another gripping hand. And then we got another fisted gripping hand here. A fisted hand that holds a flower. Jeez, easy for me to say. This flower driving me nuts. I believe, I would assume, this has got to be a lotus flower. I'm no uh, flower expert. Uh, but the flower does fit in the hand very, very nicely. Very nice flower. One of those accessories you use with multiple ways, multiple people. Looking really good right there. So we do get the hands. We do get the lotus flower. Then we get some weapons here with old lotus. We get the bow and arrow. Always love a good bow and arrow. Ah, oh, archery. One of the, the great gifts archery is there. But uh, archery looking interesting here. You got the bow, a nice brown. You got some gray on the handles here. You got a real rope, real piece of string here. I always like that. Then you do get one arrow. She must be a really good shot. She only needs one arrow. So that's all we have here. You got the feathers on the end in white. Brown with the gray tip. You got the bow and arrow. You're off to the races there. Then you get her sword. Of course, any good ninja has to have a sword. You got the sheath for it here, all in brown. Then you got the gray sword. Very, very thin, thin sword. I guess it is a smaller female character. She should have a smaller sword, I guess. We got the nice brown handle into the gray tip. Looking nice. And then, of course, it does fit right in there. So you can store it right in there. So now we get down to the Lotus figure. And this Lotus figure is very small. Much, once again, reminds me a little bit of April O'Neil's figure. Uh, very, very small, very kind of delicate type figure, I guess we'd say. Uh, but let's break this one down. Let's break down the articulation. It looks like we've got the ball joint at the head and the neck. So you got double movements here on this figure. 
Uh, at least it seems to be that way. But big, big hairdo sculpt here. Big black hair. Uh, really limiting the articulation. You do get side to side, of course. You get up and down. I guess it's not terrible. Uh, we get decent articulation with all that hair. You think it would block things a little bit more than it actually does, honestly. So it does look good. She's got kind of a, a little bit of a mad face going on there. She's definitely not happy. She's not super, super angry, but she's uh, perturbed. She's got a perturbed face is what we'll call it here. Her arms do go all the way around. You do got a bicep cut. Nope, no bicep cut on her, but we do got double jointed elbows. So very interesting there. Very tight joints, very NECA-like. Hands back and forth. She came to slap fight. She's going to join in with Dana White and the slap fight team. That's what she's got here. She's got two hands uh, to slap fight as need be. Uh, you do got waist articulation. She can do those big old Lotus Ninja splits if she needs to. She's got double jointed knees, no boot cut, but you do get ankles back and forth, up and down. Once again, very tight ankles on her. She does have peg holes. We'll see if she fits on a ringside stand here in a second. She does got a spot on her back I'm seeing here, and that is to hold, of course, the sword. So you can put the sword in here, and that leads us to the second head here. She's got the nice Storm Shadow Jinx Ninja head is what this reminds me of. Of course, all covered up, all of her hair. How do you get all that hair into here? I don't know how that actually equals out and works, but apparently she does. Uh, but once you take this head off, put this one on, you can store the sword on her back a lot easier. To me, I feel like I needed to display her as this head. I don't know. I'll go back and forth. I guess I'll figure out. But this is the early winner for me would be this plain Jane uh, head here for Lotus. So there it is. Does she fit on a ringside collectible stand? Once again, very similar to the Mona Lisa figure. We only got one peg hole. So I'm going to say she's not going to fit on a stand. Let's see what happens here. Oh, and I would be a liar. So Mona Lisa wouldn't fit with the one peg hole, but Lotus, she fits with the one peg hole. So what are we doing? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine at this point, but there's the Lotus figure. Kind of is what it is. It's nothing that's going to just change your life uh, in action figure collecting, but it's a nice representation of the figure, of the character, I should say. Now let's turn our attention over to the ghost of Chakahachi. Oh, ghost. We love him. Uh, but we've got a ghost ninja here. And I believe, didn't he grow like really huge? Like, didn't he get really tall like Godzilla or something? Or maybe I'm just dreaming all that once again. But we do got accessories with him. He didn't come to mess around. He's got two fists of fury right out of the package. And then, of course, from there, you got two slapping hands in case he needs to be a part of ghost slap fight. So we do have that. We got those ghost hands. And then we got two gripping hands, which you need for his weapons as well. So we got uh, a little choose your own hand adventure, as we always do say. Now, I'm not 100% positive this is his, but I think it is. This is another one of those Donatello gadgets. And did they use this to like suck up the ghost? Is that what it was? It was kind of like uh, a little Ghostbusters type thing here where you could suck up the ghost. It's like almost like a vacuum cleaner you got a big nose on the end uh, very comical of course but i believe am i wrong am i right somebody clue me in on that one you do get two weapons of mass destruction or maybe just swords uh you get the long blade here of course you get the sheath you can put it in all black the yellow on the top then you got the silver blade with a nice curve to it and then you got the nice handle here nice looking uh figure uh sheath and blade i like that a whole lot so we do have this and then we got a little dagger here, of course. This is that one. Isn't this like the samurai uh, little dagger where if they're caught or something uh, to protect the honor of their clan, their family and stuff, they just pull this out and then they gut themselves right there and dump all their intestines and stuff out. Isn't that what that's all about there? Somebody can clue me in on that one if they want to as well. We've got two different blades here and you can store both of those on his side here. He's got these yellow holsters for him. So that is nice to be able to store those if that's the way you want to go. And then we do get effect pieces. Ah, oh, ghost effect pieces. Everybody loves a good effect piece. Very Marvel Legends like, but a little bit more detail, a little bit bigger and different. But a nice pink kind of ectoplasm. Well, that's what we'll call it. Why not? But you can put this around his arm like he's shooting this out. Got that going there. You got a big old ball here. Of course, very much like a Street Fighter. He's going to throw that ball. He's going to boom right there like that. Uh, he's going to do one of those like a young Ryu or Ken, whoever. And then we do got another one here. We got a little ball of uh, mass destruction as well. So very cool. Choose your own adventure on some of those effect pieces. But now we're going to dive into Chakahachi himself. Looking good. Looking like an old mad samurai. Got the yellow eyes against the Smurf blue skin. Uh, he's an angry dude. Looking a little bit like Karate Elvis with those big sideburns. Then he's got that big ponytail at the top looking really, really nice. You got a very stereotypical, I guess, uh, outfit on for a samurai. Kind of what you would imagine they would wear, but in a bluish teal color. Got a nice little apron going on. When you kind of look at it, it almost looks like you should be cooking you a nice lasagna or something with this big apron here. Uh, but definitely interesting. Talked about being able to store the weapons on the side in those yellow holes. Got a, a belt sculpted in with a nice bow tie there. I'm sure his mom tied that for him. 
uh, looking really nice. Uh, and then you do have a uh, kind of the baggy uh, jeans. I don't want to call them jeans. I don't know what you call them exactly, but the baggy pants going on here down to the boot covers and then down to his ceremonial sandals. Everybody loves a good sandal. Of course, unless you don't, but he does have sandals here. Articulation, his arms are going to go all the way around. We do got double-jointed elbows. Oh, my gosh, very tight, but yes, they are here. Hands going to be removable, hands side to side. Of course, Fist of Fury out of the package. Head, all kinds of articulation there, nothing really limiting it, so very, very good hard articulation. You got the waist articulation. He can do a little bit of samurai split, really not all that well. Uh, you do get a single jointed knee, and then you get boots, boots or sandals, I guess, side to side, back and forth. So not super, super articulated here. You do got this little board here on the side, and it's interesting. It's got a little hinge on it there to kind of move with the arm, which is nice. Uh, I don't know if that's actually like a, a shoulder piece, a blocking piece, or what exactly the term for that is. But it does look nice, and I do like how it is mobile and to move out of the way and things like that. That does work for me. He does got two peg holes in his feet, so we'll see if he sits on a Mattel stand. What do you know? Oh my gosh, very tight, but he did get in there. Mattel ringside collectible stand. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. A little bit stereotypical putting these two in the same pack, don't you think? Two ninjas together. I guess it makes a lot of sense to me, but I can see some people. Why can't Mona Lisa and Lotus be in a two-pack? I don't know. I don't I don't write the rules either. I guess NECA does, but it makes sense for me. It's two one-off characters. I don't think these two interacted, if I, I could be mistaken. Uh, but very interesting here. Uh, two characters, once again, it's getting pretty deep in the turtle lane of the cartoon figures. Uh, I remember this guy more than her, I think, and both are deep cuts to me, even though, you know, I think they were both in, he might have only been in one episode, she might have been in two or three episodes. I could be mistaken. Like I said, it's been a heck of a long time since I've seen these episodes, but one day I will watch them all again. I'll find the time. Uh, I'll sleep when I'm dead, as I always do say as well. But let me know your thoughts on Lotus and Chakahachi. You picking these two up, you passing, you playing the long game, you undecided. Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. You might as well like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day and then some even more content for you over on the old Patreon, including early access to all the videos. And best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And then don't forget about social media. Hit me up and follow along over there. Sir Paul 64 on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for a little NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cartoon unboxing, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.